ladies and gentlemen, and with me are, of course, the lovely second half of our top ten. Again, as a reminder, the candidates have pre-drawn their questions, but they will hear the questions for the first time as I read it to them. Of course, this portion of the competition is the most riveting. Let's do it. Starting off with, of course, Miss Costa Buenas noches. Muy buenas noches, damas y caballeros. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. All right, are you ready for your question? Ready. All right, listos. Listos. What is your view about opening borders to refugees and accepting immigrants when they seek help? ¿Cuál es su opinión o perspectiva sobre la temática de abrir las fronteras de un país a los refugiados? Um, bueno, actualmente en mi país se está dando esta situación y es muy importante que se abran las puertas a estas personas porque son personas que uh, cuentan con una situación muy difícil en su país. Entonces... Well, actually nowadays, my country has been facing this type of situation and I think that it's very important that any nation open its doors to people because they are people and deserve respect. Because at the end of the day, we are all the same and we all need to help ourselves because we are all brothers and we live in the same world. And this is because we are people, we are all brothers, and we should help each other because we live in the same planet. We are all brothers and we should help each other because we live in the same planet. Thank you very much. Yeah. Ladies and gentlemen. All right. Let's hear it for another lovely lady. Please join me, Miss Philippines. Can you believe this is all happening on your home court? Yes, I am exactly so overwhelmed that I am representing the Philippines. You're doing a phenomenal job. Ready for your question? All right. Can you tell us how your country promotes diversity, equal opportunity, and mutual respect among cultures? I grew up with a very diverse culture in our community. And as you expect, there will be chaos. And um, what we must do there, uh, I grew up with a community with uh, different diverse cultures, and as you expect, there will be chaos. But believe me, in my 21 years of existence in Sultan Kudarat, and even in this country, the Philippines, I experienced harmoniously relationship among people. Thank you. Thank you, Miss Philippines. All right, how about a warm welcome for our lovely neighbor in Asia, Mongolia. Are you enjoying your stay here in the Philippines so far? Yes, of course, I love Philippines. So ladies, well, we love you too. I'm going to give you your question, you ready? Yes, I'm ready. Here we go. In a world that experiences danger, Due to intolerance of diversity, as Miss Asia Pacific International, what would you advocate and do to promote openness and acceptance? Thank you for the uh, question. In my opinion, the God sent us to this universe with two purposes. This is respect and love. Sharing and giving love, being a love person is wonderful. So let's share each other and give love and be a love person. Thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, Miss Mongolia. All right, how about a nice warm and welcome for Miss Brazil? Miss Brazil, how about a greeting to all your friends here in the audience in Portuguese? Good evening, guys. Thank you, Philippines. I love you. 
All right, here you go with your question. If you could visit anywhere in the world apart from your country to learn about a diverse and different culture, where would you go and why? Se você puder visitar qualquer outro país que não seja o seu para conhecer a sua cultura e diversidade, que país seria esse e por quê? Eu conheceria a Austrália, porque me encanta muito. I would like to visit and get to know Australia because I feel enchanted by it. A diversidade cultural, as belezas naturais, the diversity, the natural beauty of that country, e as pessoas receptivas, and the welcoming people that I know um, live in Australia. Mas agora eu indico muito Filipinas. But right now, I would recommend the Philippines. É um lugar muito cultura e as pessoas me acolheram com muito amor. Obrigada, Filipinas. It's a place rich in culture and full of welcoming people. I feel so welcomed here. Thank you, Philippines. Ms. Prisia, ladies and gentlemen, thank you. And of course, rounding off our wonderful top ten, the lovely Miss Venezuela. Venezuela. How are you doing tonight? Muy bien, gracias. There you go, thank you. All right, would you like to say a greeting to your friends out in the audience? Quieres cumplimentar la audiencia que está aquí, el pueblo que está aquí hoy? Quieres cumplimentarles? Quieres cumplimentar el pueblo que está aquí hoy? Quieres saludar. your question. Here we go. If you could visit anywhere in the world apart from your country to learn about a diverse and different culture, where would you go and why? Si pudieras visitar un país que no sea este tú, que no sea esta, para conocer la diversidad de cultura, la cultura y la diversidad, ¿qué país visitaría y por qué? Me encantaría visitar Vietnam. I would like to visit Vietnam. Porque tuve la oportunidad de compartir habitación con Miss Vietnam. Because I had the opportunity to share the room here with Miss Vietnam. Me habló maravillas de su país y de verdad que estoy súper interesada en ir para allá. She told me wonders about her country and I right now feel very much interested in visiting that place. Gracias. Thank you. Well done. Ladies and gentlemen, that completes the CUNY round. Well done, ladies. Give them another round of applause. That absolutely was riveting. The excitement escalates when we find out who among our top ten will make it to the elite circle of five. Speaking of elite, it's MYG. What say you, sir? Where are you at? Romy, I... Yes, give it up for Ms. Venezuela, please. Thank you so much. On three, six, power bank. One, two, three. Thank you. We needed that. All right. Okay. Okay. And of course, rounding out our top ten, Miss Venezuela. Would you like to say a greeting? Yes, well deserved. Would you like to say a greeting to the audience here in the Philippines? Can you say the people of the Philippines. Good night, Philippines. Good night, Philippines. Good night, indeed. Ready for your question? All right, here we go. Bullying in schools is a major issue in the world right now. Do you believe this has something to do with differences in race, culture, religion, social class, and gender? And if so, what can you suggest to prevent it? 
Bullying es un problema muy serio en las escuelas en todo el mundo hoy. ¿Usted cree que este problema es por um, problemas de cultura, diversidad, religión, uh, diferencias raciales? ¿Cuál es la causa de este problema y qué sugerencias tiene usted para resolver tal situación? Pienso que eso hay que enseñarlo desde el hogar. I think this is something that we have to teach our kids since early stage. Debemos, o los padres, deben enseñar a sus hijos a respetar. Parents should be able to teach their kids, their children, how to respect. De hecho, los adultos también debemos hacerlo, porque eso es lo que hace falta hoy en día. And we as adults also should do the same, because this is something that is missing in society today. Respetarnos y aceptarnos con todas las diferencias que tenemos. Respect each other and accept each other, regardless of all the differences that we have. Porque esas diferencias no nos hacen ni más ni menos personas. Because our differences don't make us neither more nor less people. Muchas gracias. Thank you very much. And that completes the CUNY round. Well done, ladies. Once again, another big round of applause. Please let them hear it. Show your love. Show your appreciation. The excitement escalates when we find out who among our top ten will make it to the elite circle of five. Speaking of elite, Samuel G. What do you got to say about that?